Fayette County High School's first band was organized back in the early 1950s. The band continued under several directors throughout the next several years. However, with the unexpected departure of its director in 1958, Fayette County was left for nearly eight years without public music instruction. It was not until the fall of 1966, with the hiring of Mr. Ben Westbury, that this negligence would be corrected. It became Mr. Westbury's monumental task to start all over with the recruitment, organization, and training of instrumental and choral programs in the Fayette County Schools. Well, when I came to Fayette County High School, because that was the base of operation, uh, there had not been a band program for 10 or 11 years. They had had one earlier. There were a few remnants of instruments left over. Not much that you could really play with. There was, I think there was maybe a drum or two. They were not in great shape. An old baritone saxophone that was, never heard of the name of it. Uh, there was essentially no equipment. No stands. Um, and so we had to start from scratch. Were it not for the vision and generosity of the Fayette County JCs in 1966, it is questionable as to when a music program within the public schools of Fayette County would have been renewed. A $2,000 donation by the Fayette County JCs promised the much needed startup fund for a band program at Fayette County High School. The JC spearheaded a drive to equip a band if the Board of Education would find someone to take on this job. And we even tried to play at football games without marching late in the football, first football season. We had a couple of tunes in our book that were kind of march-like. Uh, so we would go over and try to play those. Just stand in the stand, sit in the stands, sort of like our middle school band does now. Sit in the stands and play a little bit. Again, wanted to build a support, show the support to the community. We were working. We were following through on what they wanted and trying to build. And we needed their support. And so the first uniforms the band had, uh, a band parent went to another high school up in Atlanta that was wanting to change uniforms and he knew somebody up there and they had colors about like ours. So for two or three years we used secondhand uniforms that some other school was getting rid of. We got them for a pretty good price. We still had to pay for them, but we got them for a pretty good price. And it was very interesting to try to play that first concert in Sam's Auditorium. And, uh, but everybody was super proud. Super proud. We now had a baby. Mr. Westbury, in an effort to interest young children in the instrumental programs at the high school level, spent many voluntary hours in the classrooms at Tyrone, Brooks, and Fayetteville Primary Schools, singing songs and playing records. Supportive parent-teacher organizations purchased music books and records to share among the county. A new wave of intrigue was spurred and the movement to have music a part of the weekly schedule for all the students was soon underway. I also went to a couple of outlying elementary schools like Brooks and Tyrone and helped them with general music. I didn't really teach the classes so much as go in and kind of advise some of the teachers what they could do with some of these elementary general music books that we had just purchased, some text for elementary school. So I got to at least meet some of the younger kids in my first grade, second grade, third grade. So that really helped build a band program because those students got to know me. When Mr. Westbury came to Fayette County in the mid-60s, he found that general music was not part of the curriculum in the elementary schools. There was no elementary music program at all, unless an individual teacher wanted to incorporate music into her classroom. And we had several that were piano players who did a little bit of that. One of our elementary principals finally bit the bullet, so to speak, and found the funds to hire someone to work part-time and gradually expanded to full-time. 
but not all the elementary schools did that. It was just gradually, we added one here, a year or two later, we were able to add another one at another school. One of the memorable experiences for Mr. Westbury was when the newly formed high school band performed its first halftime show. It wasn't a great sounding group. It was good enough for what we'd been doing, but it wasn't big. Uh, it was only our second year of existence. I guess that first night was kind of a woman in the The marching band to start with was to put on a show that people would enjoy, that students would enjoy doing. Uh, and really nothing more than that to start with. Halftime shows, I love those. I love doing parades. I think there's nothing better than to see a band in a parade because to me that's the band and it's the best element as a marching band. While the marching band continued to grow, so did the commitment to also have a strong concert band program. This commitment to have a well-rounded music program was the beginning of the success that the Fayette County music programs enjoy today. Currently, the instrumental and choral programs in Fayette County are recognized on a national and international level for their performance excellence and music education. In 1978, Mr. Westbury left Fayette County High School and was promoted to a position as elementary music supervisor. He served in that role for four years. He later then returned to the classroom and concentrated on instruction of the beginning band student. Some of those after the high school, after I left there, some wonderful occasions when elementary students were just playing beautiful music. Okay, a lot of, a lot of times when. I would see a student blossom. And like one student that I remember very well to this day, he wanted band so badly that he worked himself out of remedial math and in reading, which he'd been in for several years. But there was a conflict in schedule. If he was going to take band, he couldn't be in the remedial math and reading. So he had to work extra hard to prove to his principal that he could rise to the occasion. And he did. By the time he graduated from high school, he was an honor graduate and in the Beta Club. All because he worked so hard because he wanted to play a trombone in the band. I guess the thing that I'd hope they'd remember about me is that I gave the best that I could do. And I always felt like that I was trying to do the best for the students, the best for the community, and to give them more than, than I got. Because I felt it was an obligation to the community for the support that they gave and the trust that they put in me to work with their children to try to help them get as much out of music as I did to maybe make it a part of their life too, whether a small part or a large part. I think that's all that you can ask for as a teacher. And I built it up to a certain degree, but then as the county grew, we needed more people. We added a junior high, and then we added a second junior high. And then eventually we started adding a second high school. And as it grew and grew, the quality of our program got to the point where we were tra attracting the people that could carry it beyond what I could do. And I'm just really thrilled that the people who joined us have 
who really carried the program to the heights that it is now. There's no one person could have done it all. But it's a, my privilege to have been a part of it to help put it together. I'm very proud of it. Always will be.